man in the wood yard, we got another load of logs coming just like this. It's a load of oak. I'm excited. So my logger guy, John Corner, called me a while ago and said, hey, they're working on a job where they got some perfect logs, nice straight ones, dead standing oak with the barkless, like a lot of this is, which means it's already dry, so it's going to be great stuff for fire when he said. It's nothing real big either, so I'm pretty excited. He should be here any minute now, so I'm excited. Filed. And more of that in. Yeah. Oh, those are all nice size. That'll work. Now you you can even run that through. Oh yeah. Can't you? Oh yeah. yeah. Good. I the only bad ones if they're you know snaky big. Yeah. Well, I, I threw them out. There's a couple I had in that last pile. We just throw to the side. I tried to get them to go through, but what happens is they curve. Yeah. And then the saw won't quite reach the far side. Yeah. And then you got to and they're so big you got to manhandle them. So Luckily, I take the tractor grapple and just throw them off to the side. There's only a couple. What like, happens? I think this load here, I probably threw, well, 15 of big ones at least, yeah. and then a couple of crooked ones. Well, I, you know, I know what my people want. Yeah. Yeah, this, so this them, one. Because so, there's some sneaky ones in there. Oh, every once in a while, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I threw the whole pile right out, <laughs> or had my, my people just go and throw the whole pile on, yeah. Got a lot of turds in there, huh? Huh? A lot of turds in there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this came from where? Not very far from Endeavor. You know where that is? Kind of, yeah. I know kind of the area. Well, Montello. Yeah. And yeah. then 39, and Endeavor is that way. Yeah. And this is right in between that well, way. Still a ways away. Well, yeah. But I go to... I go to Endeavor with wood all the time. Oh, oh. So it's, it's only like 15 or 10, 15 miles from where I drop wood off. Oh, yeah. And the yeah. load I dropped off, I got from Algoma. Oh, geez. Saturday. Oh, geez. So I to Algoma to the Oshkosh, then to Endeavor. And so, it's, you know, you try to make a living, you know. Oh, I know. It's not, it's not easy when you're the man. Yep. You gotta work. That's right. <laughs> The other thing a lot of people do, they get their 40 hours in, I'm done. Yeah. I always tell people, what's nice about being a, on a, being self-employed is I only have to work half days. Yeah. And I get to pick which is 12. Six, six. Six <laughs> to six or six to six. Yeah. And I don't have to ask for a day off because there aren't any. That's right. <laughs> but the people don't understand that. No. No, I know. Yeah, a lot of people. Well, they get trained to work, be a worker, and they think, oh, 40 hours is it. Plus, if you like what you do, it ain't so bad. Well, I'm living my dream every day. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know how many guys would love to do this? A lot of them. Thank you. 
I like your uh, move the trailer move. You like that? I've seen guys do that before, but that's pretty cool, yeah. Now my sons, in all their wisdom, have ordered all new trailers. Yeah. That are two feet longer. Can't do that. And 2,000 pounds heavier. Can't lift them. At all. Wow. So I said, well, why, boys? Well, that, that's, those, those, and, you know, all aluminum, all cribs. Lighter, yeah. You can put the wood in, really. You don't have to bump it. Yeah. I said, no, I would like to have you follow me with firewood for one week and then show me how much you like that trailer. Now, this is, I could have got out of here. Yeah. But, well, you know, sometimes you're in the woods, you can't go anywhere, can you? I've seen guys in the woods where they'll do it, jockey it around, back a little bit, jockey it a little more. I've seen them do it. You bet. Or <laughs> a lot of a homeowners, you know, get up there oh, yeah. and you unload your wood and then you, you get it there and you can't move your truck over there. Oh, yeah. The front. Can't turn. There's woods there. Right, right. And your right. trailer's got to go off. Right. So I was up in the UP and they got those big loads, you know, up in the UP. Big, big loads. Way bigger than you guys. Can, well, can we, you guys got 96 here, 98? 98, and they got 164. Yeah, and I saw some that had to be 200. Oh, oh my, oh, they yeah. were just huge loads. Longer trailers, higher, and it's all that hard maple, which is, you know, it's That's heavy. heavy. Yeah. yeah, I saw some massive loads yesterday and the day before. We went over to a, get, get a new trailer for a guy. And yeah, we did the trip up and around the bridge. Kind of a nice ride. Yeah. 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 So this. So I, I've got. I've still got eight of these. And I'm going to keep one. As long as you keep one, one or two for yourself. Yeah. Because you. I mean, the other ones are fancier than heck. Yeah. Side stakes. Yeah. End stakes. You right. know, they just plop the wood in. Yeah. Well, I and suppose just, if you're running into paper mills, it's the thing to have, right? Yeah, well. Yeah. They think so. Yeah, well, they're lighter, they weigh, right? They weigh 2,000 pounds more. Just your just your pup on the back. Your back end does. Yeah. But not the front part. No. Well, they got the front weighing 1,000 pounds more, too. Oh. Bigger loader, oh. extend the boom. Oh. Oh, it's got, it's got a squirt boom on it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I looked at it this morning, and I thought, ah, he could put it right in the same spot. Well, this <laughs> is perfect, because now yeah. I got over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's why I cocked the truck off so I could reach for it. Right, yeah. That was the trick there. I started cutting the small stuff up that I've been pulling out of there. It's all dry. I mean, it's dry. Yeah. It's, you can see, right, cracked right to the middle. Yeah. So that's well, that's good. I'm sure there's a bunch in there. pretty much the same stuff. Yeah, yeah. I noticed, though, there's this load was straighter than the last one. There are a lot of good ones in here. Well, that's, I, <laughs> I, I picked it. I told you. I know. I told you I was going to come yeah. with... Uh, a good a load. nicer load, I knew where it yeah. was. Yeah, it looks good. How long has this been cut? Months? Couple Probably months. Couple months, yeah. But yeah. I knew it was better wood for the processor. Yeah, yeah. The others wasn't bad, but this is better. Yeah, yeah. I can see it's better. Yeah. That's okay, though. I mean, you can't... It's wood. Everybody it's thinks wood. you're... Yeah, but I, I have such a big choice of getting better stuff. Right. Why wouldn't I make it that way the better stuff. Right, right. Well, a lot of people don't realize you can make firewood out of anything, but processors like straight wood. And everybody oh. thinks everybody thinks all trees grow like telephone poles. Oh. No, they don't. Oh, no. Telephone poles are the best of the best of the best. Yeah, there's. <laughs> and I know the difference, so. Oh yeah. That's why I do what I do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I suppose you got to give me some paper. I do. So it's 14 cords, looks like. What's that? 14 cords. Yeah, at least. Think pack. there's enough on there? Oh yeah, that's that's a good load. <laughs> I went, you know, I really, with this fire, would give quite a bit away. This last week, I took two loads in of of uh, bolts, one from Algoma and one from somewhere over there. About the same volume as this. Yeah. One scaled 1511, the other one scaled 1546. Oh, yeah. With the guy with a stick. Yeah. Those are big loads. Yeah, they the were bolts, big loads. Bolts fit in tighter, too, don't they? Whoa, yeah. They're, yeah. Now, this, is, this here is really nice. And it's a lot straighter, so it's, it's. But I still deduct it. Well, not too much because it was. There's only a couple holes, yeah. yeah. No biggie. 
this one? This one? This one? Yeah. Oh no, you get this one and this Yeah, one. you keep the pink one now. Sure. Got it. Then you send the yellow back. Yep, yep. I'll have the boss take care of it. We have a plan. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, no, I think it's supper time. Yeah. Oh, I, don't look, I don't look hungry, do I? <laughs> take care, Chris. Yeah, you Thank too. Thank you so much for the order. Oh, yeah. But yeah, yeah that's how I do it. So John just pulled out and here's the load that he brought. A lot of really good stuff in here size wise. You know, it's stuff processor wise, it's not too big, but there's not a lot of really little ones either. Just all really nice stuff. There's, a, I guess there's some little ones in here, but that's okay. But a lot of this size stuff and a lot of this size stuff. Hand size to two hands. So yeah, this is it's really good. Beautiful, beautiful wood. And uh, so now I've got like a load and a half here. Now in this load, there was 14 full cords. And in the other load, it was just under 14, so that's 28 full cords. But I used some of it for the process, for the uh, boiler wood that we already made. So some of it's been picked out, but you can see by looking at this. Isn't this a beauty right here? That is a bolt right there, straight as an arrow, and uh, it's about 10 inches. That, I wish they were all like that. I told him before he left, I said, next time you come, that's all I want. I want a truckload of that. And he just laughed. He said, yeah, that should have been a bolt. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here. You can see by looking that um, nice pile of wood. I'm going to back up a little bit. So there's two rows now. So we got a good supply here. Feel good about it. So as it sits here, not in any rush to get at it because it's going to dry more and more and more the more it sits here. Uh, but we'll just keep picking away at it as I have time. And we'll get it all done by this fall. We'll have it all done. Probably half of this is ready to burn right now. Maybe three quarters of it. So pretty awesome. If you look at the... Uh, the loads here and we put it so we can drive through here the processors right there so ideally we can just grab it and we can set it on the processor all the little stuff we're going to be setting over here are the nasty nasty ones like these big ones here that are crooked you tried sawing on it and they twist on you or this big one here with all the the crotches on it those are just terrible in the processor so we set them to the side but this last load he just brought today looks really nice some really good stuff as you guys can see here at least i think it's nice so there you go. That's it for today. I got a load of wood. Another load. Another one, as my good friend DJ Khaled would say. There it is. Tomorrow we're going to go do some cutting. We'll see you then. 5.30 a.m. I'll be here. You should be here. Right now go watch all the other videos on my channel. There's 1,500 waiting for you. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.